I have the means to help Namdi Kano, but I will never support or help him. Joe Igwe Bra tell Igbo leaders. A prominent politician from the southeastern part of the country has disclosed that he will never support or help the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namde Kano, in his fight to liberate the southeast from Nigeria by having an independent nation. Joe Ibukwe, the special advisor to the Lagos state governor, while speaking during an exclusive interview with Helene Oyibo, he added that he witnessed the civil war while Kano did not. He said, he, Kano said on Radio Biafra, that if they see me, his boys, they should behead me and kill all my children. They should behead me and take over my life, destroy my homes, and I played it down, but I put my life in the hand of God. And that of my family because I was asking myself, I was like, it got to this, that you cannot hear voices that are not saying no. We can't go this way. I am old and older than him. I saw the civil war. He didn't see the civil war. I know what we went through. I couldn't go to school during the Civil War. I was in Primary 5 when the war started in 1967. And after the war, I started again from Primary 5. And I understand what played out. The casualties, the pain, the tears, the losses my father lost in his business. And we said, do we have to go through this way again? haven't seen it all because I know what he doesn't know and I know and I've seen what he has not seen. I have the experience. I have seen it all and I have this history behind me. Has it gotten to this that if you have decent voices, then the person has to be killed? It could have been worse. Many people died. I am not celebrating death. I am just thanking God that at least I may be a little bit free. Again, I am looking at the big picture too. Do we have to go this way again? Again, I am looking at the big picture too. Do we have to go through this over and over again? Because my people will say if elders are not at home, children will wear snakes and call them necklaces. <laughs> ah. oh, Joey Bokwe, you will not stop amazing me. <laughs> oh, my dear viewers, <laughs> uh, it's a pity anyway that Joey Bokwe is doing all of these things, but uh, the only thing I would just say is that. He is speaking out of ignorance. That's what I would just say. It is ignorance that is making him to say what he's saying. Because if only he understands. He, I don't think Joe Bukwe understands the war. Even if he has witnessed the war. Okay, if I may put up this question to Joe Bukwe. He claimed he witnessed the war. Am I right? Now, what did what did the uh, uh, the man, the 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 Biafran vice president, said to Kuwon when he was handing over the Biafran flag to him? What did he say? What did he told Kuwon? He told Kuwon something. If Joy Bukwe can remember. Now. He told Gowon, he said, look, I am handing over the Biafran flag to you. The Biafrans 
must not be intimidated. Because if they are intimidated and their right taken away from them, their children will rise. What have I said? That is, what I've just said now is what is going on now. It's what is going on now. And Joy Bokwe, that claimed to have observed the war, cannot be able to remember all of that. He can't be able to remember all of that. And it's quite a pity that someone of Joe Ibukwe caliber, caliber cannot be able to remember all of that that has happened. It was a warning. Um, okay, let me agree that we were not born during the war, as Joe Ibukwe have just claimed. But at least a warning was left in the end of the man in charge then. And he was told that the children, the children will rise to challenge if their rights are denied from them. And Unamdi Kano is one of the children then. In fact, Unamdi Kano was born during the war. The same year the war came up was what was when Unamdi Kano was born. So, and for you to know that the prophecy that was being postulated concerning Nnamdi Kanu being the messenger that God have sent to come and put off and liberate the Biafrans from the long time pursuit. Look at, look at it. Nnamdi Kanu was, was now sent by God to come on the same year that the war started, and then the colonel would have died. He would have died if God has not appointed him. But because God appointed him, even as an infant, he survived the war. He survived the war. And you can see that he that was born during the war is now the one fighting for the Biafra freedom. Um, Joey Bukwe is just too noisy for my liking and it is touching and you know disgracing uh, and so many Igbos and that is why the Igbos have decided to do away with him, to disown him. His own people, not other people, his own people disowned him. They disowned him because of his no blah 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 blah. Even the wife has warned, has warned him. Has warned him that he's, he's talking too much. His talking is becoming too much. He's the one exposing his family to the crisis that they are facing. He's the one. If anything happens to his children, he's the cause. Because he's the one putting them into that. What do you think I've said? So, my dear viewers in the house, um, please come in at least. Let's hear you and know what your own opinion concerning all that Joey Bukwe have just said. Uh, he said he's not going to help Nam the Kano, that he has the means to help him and to support him, but he will never do that. Okay? Let's hear Let me hear from you. Let me know if you have anything to say about that. Okay, whatever it is, don't forget to leave your comments below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time you upload any new videos. Don't forget, I still remain your love and one and only the Lord TV channel. Love you.